Today we are doing the much requested braid tutorial. We will be doing both the French as well as the Dutch braids today. There's a slight difference between them, but once you learn them, you'll be able to do almost any other braid out there. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back to the program, Grace. Once again, she is going to be with us for our braids. Now today, since I'm doing two of them, I'm just gonna divide her head in half. You don't have to do this when you're doing the braids. It depends on how you're doing it. Now, one of the most common questions I get asked is, can you braid short hair? The answer is yes. You can actually braid hair as short as three inches long. It's just about the tension and the sectioning. So we're gonna take a triangle section and that's just the general rule of thumb for all braids. Now for most of you, we are going to do the French braid first. So we're gonna go over and then over. And then we're gonna take a small section from here and over and over. Notice how I'm giving her a bit of a pull. It's okay to pull for this. Your kids will hate you, but the braids will look good. Again, just give it a good yank. I mean, we need that tension in order to secure the braid. Anytime we don't have enough tension, that's when our braids are gonna look funny and not good. If it helps, chant in your head over, 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 over. Got a little piece caught there. There you go. Once you learn the basic hand movements, you can start directing your braid. You can start taking thinner braids, thicker braids. It's really all about getting the hand movement in there. And again, we're going over, over, and over. And when you get to the part where you want to finish, you just continue to overlap them. So just continue to overlap. Same as you did in Girl Scouts. And this is the one time it's okay to use these little guys. Every other time, not okay to use them. But this time it's okay because when Grace goes to take them out later, she's going to break them out. She's not going to pull them out like a bad girl. So that is Grace's French braid to get a better look. Okay, now it's time for the Dutch braid. The Dutch braid, or the inverted braid as it's known in hairdressing worlds, is simply just the other direction, which can be kind of complicated to think about. So for this one, we're going to kind of chant in our heads under, under under oops didn't do her tight enough got a yank on her now the nice thing about knowing this braid is it really opens up the world of braiditudities as i am coining the term because once you know this braid you can do things like cornrows because that's really all cornrows are is just very tiny inverted braids. So once you know the tiny inverted braids, you can completely change everything. And you can start changing directions and doing other really cool things with braids. It's just a matter of mastering under and under.
and under. And again, when you're ready to tie off, you just simply keep braiding. So you can see our inverted or Dutch braid there. They're the exact same braid, it's just a different hand movement that gets you the results that you want. So I hope that really helped you guys master Dutch braid, aka inverted braid, and French braid. Once you know those two basic braids, it opens up a whole world of opportunity with braids. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know and I can do more braid videos. We can still learn a bunch of two strand braids such as the fishtail, the rope braid. We can even go ahead and learn the waterfall braid now that you have the basic foundations for braids. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.